So if Windows is giving you trouble lately, like in my case, the start menu is not responding, the apps that I've installed refuse to open up, then you can try reinstalling or uh, upgrade your computer. But in the meantime, if you want to try something faster, I would recommend you try the Chrome OS Flex once. And uh, mainly if your need is for browsing, so th for that it is the uh, uh, best alternative. And you can use and open up multiple tabs and it's quite fast as well. Let's see how we can install it on our computer. So before proceeding, I will advise you to use the BIOS key and then power of your computer and then press the BIOS key and the power button together and enter the BIOS menu. Now here we need to disable the secure boot. So go to your advanced settings and under advanced or boot settings, you may find something called secure boot. So for my Azus, it's under the security. And if I scroll down, you can see the secure boot option. So we need to click on it and then disable it. Mine is already disabled. And once you do that, I would also advise you to find an option like virtualization or Hyper-V and enable it. So it's not here on my laptop and it is enabled by default. So you need to find that and turn it on as well. It will help you in a later for Linux purpose and stuff. So also enable that and then you can just save the configuration and exit. And then we can then proceed further on our Windows system. So now we need the Chrome browser, so install that first and uh, then we can just open it up and we need to go to the Chrome web store which is a store for the Chrome extensions and then search for this Chromebook recovery utility. This is the official uh, Chromebook uh, um, the tool to make the recovery for bootable USB. So we need to add it to our browser. So it's going to take some time and uh, once it's done you will uh, you will see the option on the top right uh, on the top right under the extensions just open it up and you will see this kind of interface now we need to click on get started and now we need to select our model so from the manufacturer select chrome os flex and again in the products, just select the Chrome OS Flex, then continue. And we need to select our pen drive. So I would recommend a minimum of 8 GB pen drive. Now after selecting a pen drive, we can continue. And after continuing, um, we will see the option to start the process. And first it's going to download the recovery image and then unzip it and flash it. So it's going to take some time. So just leave your computer for a while. If you see the success message, you can skip ahead to the timestamp or otherwise in my case, I got this error. So to fix it, um, I will try to first use the, uh, the gear icon on the top uh, right and then just uh, choose the erase recovery media and then just continue to erase it. It's going to format the USB drive and after that we can just uh, redo all the process of uh, choosing the chrome flex and flashing it and if the issue still persists after that you can try a disk part or i would recommend you to use first to download the rufus uh, the program and then we will manually download the chrome OS flex file from this website and after it is can see it started downloading and now we will open up the rufus application now we will just flash it like we do with other ISO images. So select your pen drive and then the image. So select the Chrome OS Flex image and everything else will be set by default. So we can just start the process. And it will give you a warning about formatting the pen drive. So just go ahead. Now leave your computer for a while until it finishes. So after it is done, I would recommend you to backup anything you have on your C drive as well as on the D drive because both of them will be formatted completely. So backup it to an external storage before proceeding. And after that, we will power off our device 
and the same way we enter BIOS we will use the boot key and then we can select our pen drive from the options and uh, after that you will see the Chrome OS Flex logo and finally the setup screen so we will now just choose our language and after that it's giving us two options to install or try it first so trying it first we will give you a live demo but we will proceed with installing it Let's continue and here is giving us a warning that it is going to format everything on the entire hard drive or the complete storage so remember that and then proceed now it's going to install it and it's going to take some time so just leave it now you will see a countdown until it's going to shut down itself but we can manually just uh, on the quick toggle we can just click on the power of icon now we need to remove the pen drive before starting it so once again we will see the chrome OS flex logo followed by the setup screen so choose your language and then this time also we need to do all the setups so we need to connect to the wi-fi and then add our google account and after you have done that it's going to give it option to choose light theme dark theme so this is some new option they have added in the newer latest version so select it as you wish and continue now we are set to use the chrome os flex so we have installed the chrome os flex on our hard drive and if you check the files app you can see it's taking the entire storage we don't have support for google play store but we have option to install linux applications using the terminal and I also have a lot of videos about Chrome OS Flex on customization and Linux. So make sure you check them out. So that was it for this video. I hope you like this one. I'll see you in the next one.